good. Young Nay. What's up? So when it comes to uh, step side kicks, there are lots and lots of different varieties. So uh, one way to make the side kicks uh, a little bit more effective is by stepping a little bit farther than right up. So for the normal step side kick, we just step up and kick. But we can also step in front and kick, or step behind and kick. So that gives us a little bit more distance, uh, so we're able to come in closer to our opponent and do it quickly. Um, in addition, you want to consider that when you step in front, it opens up your body a little bit. Uh, so you do need to turn a little bit more to kick. Uh, if you step behind, you're already uh, facing your opponent with your side, so you can kick straight. So uh, it's probably a good idea to learn how to do the step behind uh, when you're able, but either one works. So you can uh, try those out, try 10 one way, 10 the other way, we're just doing it in place. So practice stepping in front, stepping behind, in addition to just stepping up. So another way to gain a little bit more distance from it is by doing a sliding side kick. So with the sliding side kick, instead of one, two, now it's all in one motion. Two. So you notice, I don't really have both of my feet on the ground at the same time. I step in one, and kick for two, step in one, and kick for two. So uh, this time, it's a little bit faster. You can slide in like this. So that's the sliding side kick. We call it sliding because it's more like a slide than a step. And another way to uh, bring that up is with a hopping side kick. With a hopping side kick, you can do one or two. One hop uh, looks a lot like the sliding side kick. But you can also, if you want more power, this is a great technique for power, uh, do two hops. So that'll help you get more power and come in faster at your opponent. And another way to uh, gain more, another technique that's good for uh, things like breaking, is the flying side kick. So for flying side kick, it's going to be a variation of a jumping side kick. So step, lift, kick. That's the most basic part of the flying side kick. So this is the one step flying side kick. It means there's just one step and then you do the side kick. So step, step. So that's the one step. You can also do two step. So one, two, lift, kick. So two steps and then you the lift and then the kick. And eventually uh, you'll get to the point where you're going to do a full flying side kick. And for the full flying side kick, uh, you're simply running across and then you do the kick. So I'm going to come over here. So if I want to do it, so I'm coming across like this, I'm doing the side kick. So what you want to do when you're doing the side kick is hook up this leg. So when I've got this leg out here, this leg is tucked in. Uh, that helps you uh, clear higher obstacles. Uh, as you practice, you'll be able to jump over things and practice. But you remember the last thing you do before the kick from that is still a step. So once you can do the one step and two step flying side kicks, you can work on the full flying side kicks. That's because the full flying side kick contains those. So let's do one more time. So you can practice doing that uh, as far across as you can on the sidewalk, in your yard, um, in your hallway if it's large enough. So uh, practice whenever you can, uh, practice each variety a few times on each side, and that'll help you get better and better with your side kicks. Cheerio! Thank you.